Hello, and welcome to my semi-decorated room. Look at all the art that you can't really see that well because of the glare. Uh, I tried to get my head not blocking my Patrick Kelly's art to the best of my ability, but it was a real struggle, okay? My head still kind of blocks it if I do this, so I'm going to try and do this. But anyway... You can also kind of see my planets on my door and my diploma. My diploma is up there and you can see it, but you can't read my name, which is good because it has my birth name on it and fuck that shit. So today's litmus video is an idea or a literary something that really stuck in your craw, which I don't think I've ever heard that expression used. So... That was interesting. And I I don't really know of an idea that really that, 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 that stuck in my head. I don't like I don't know. Um I mean like representation was real good this year. I read a lot of books that like, I identified, I say, I say a lot, I read, like, two books that I really identified with, uh, like, gender and sexuality-wise. I read three books that I really identified with, because I did really identify with Aerie from Aristotle and Dante. But anyway, that's what I'm going to be talking about, is representation! Is it a literary something? I, I, I guess. The first thing I want to talk about is uh, the idea that you can be, like, represented in a book and see yourself in a book even if you're in, like, the minority. Even if you're fucking 1% of the population. Alright? So, like... Let's talk about love, for example. Has fantastic asexual representation, right? Well, asexuals are only accounted for as 1% of the population, right? So why should we cater books to them? Because 1% of the population is a whole heck of a lot of people. Let me tell you that. And... It's really alienating when you never see yourself in fiction. Like, no one is ever like you. You start to feel like you're broken or strange or just messed up in some kind of way. So, representation is important, y'all. And let's also talk about Not Your Villain because that has some quality trans guy representation in it. It normalizes being trans to the point where I'm just like, yes. So anyway, this was just me talking about representation and how great it is. Um, and you should read those two books if you're asexual or leaning towards the trans masculine side of things. Uh, and if you're not, you should still read them because they're really good books. If you want some other recommendations for different identities, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can find in my brain slash the internet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the background. I know I was covering Achilles and Patroclus with my head most of the time. I'm sorry, guys. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.